Hi guys and welcome back. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Today I am going to do a Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale candle haul. I adore Bath & Body Works candles. I think they are so much better than Yankee and I love the semi-annual sale because it is the perfect time to stock up on all of your favorite new scents. You can use coupons, they're on sale. It's amazing. So today I'm going to be showing you everything that I picked up and I stocked up on enough scents to get me through until they have their $8 candle sale in December. So very exciting. I'm going to start off with the first candle, which is a gift. This is Fresh Cut Lilacs and this is actually a gift for my mom. She adores lilac and flower scents, so this is all for her. The scent notes are lilac bouquets, dewy greens, and soft spring air. And there is the label. So pretty. And I don't love florals. She's actually a little bit more into florals than I am, and she likes lilac. So this is specifically for her. These are a gift all for her. I will not be touching these guys. These are strictly for her. All right, so on to the next ones that I got for myself. I picked up Island Margarita, which is a perfect summer scent. The notes on this one are sweet mandarin, island mango, and sea salt. And can we talk about this packaging? How Adorable with the limes and the huge writing and these lids are to die for. And I think this is such a perfect, perfect summer scent. If you've been a fan of Bath & Body Works for a while, you already know what this guy smells like. And it's amazing. Just a beautiful lime and it truly smells like a margarita, honestly. I've already dipped into this guy. I've got to trim the wicks before I light it up again. But I just absolutely adore this scent. I think it is perfect for June and the perfect transition scent into the summer candles, which I love. Continuing on with that, um, I think it's called the drink collection. We have root beer float, which the notes on this one are root beer, vanilla ice cream, and a dollop of whipped cream. And this one's not as cute, definitely, because it has like all these little life preservers, which I get they're playing on the float part of the root beer float, but it just has this really nice white wax, just plain. But this is so authentic. Oh my goodness, you guys, this truly, truly smells like a root beer float. This is so yummy. I cannot wait to light this up and just have it smell like root beer all over my house. This smells like, you know, those little hard candies that used to be in like the barrel shaped and they taste exactly like root beer, like pretty sure they're called root beer barrels. This smells exactly like that. It's just to die for. It's spot on and I love it. I think it is an amazing, amazing summer scent and I am so happy that I picked that up because it is just so delicious. I can't, I can't believe it. I know a lot of people say that they actually get a um, medicinal note from it or they get like a really strong licorice scent, but to my nose, it is all root beer float and I love it. All right, the next one that we have is Summertime Soda Pop. Set notes on that one are crisp lime, zesty lemon, and a splash of soda. And the packaging on this one, it has this really gorgeous um, orange wax. It's beautiful. And it has all these popsicles on it. Really gorgeous. And the polka dots, I absolutely love this. This smells like lemon lime soda, Sprite, um, whatever kind of lemon lime soda you like. This smells like it. It is so fresh so crisp. I'm going to love this, I think, for July or August when it is just so hot out and you need something refreshing. This is it. It is amazing smelling. It's just like so fresh, so crisp, and I I want to drink it. It's really, they really nailed the drink part of the drink collection because 
it's just beautiful. I mean, like, I can't get over it. They smell exactly like what they were supposed to. I really can't get over it. I'm, I'm like, mind boggled that they actually nailed the collection because they've been pretty disappointing, not gonna lie. A lot of it has been, um, not that great and just disappointing. So, the next one that I have, sorry about this racket in the background, people are cutting their grasses. Um, the next one that I have is Strawberry Mimosa, which is Juicy Wild Strawberry Evervescent Lemon Zest and Sugar Crystals. It's in this really pretty pale pink wax. Really gorgeous. Love it. And this one is so amazing. Pretty plain label. I don't mind it. I know this is like a repackage um, like of their sweet cherry pie. It was part of this line and the packaging is the same. I don't mind it. I think it's timeless. I really, I think people would like this no matter what. And as for the scent, beautiful. I like, <laughs> I'm running out of adjectives besides amazing and beautiful to describe scents. <laughs> I really need to broaden my vocabulary. But this truly is, smells like a strawberry mimosa. It's, it's effervescent, it's fizzy, it's just, it's so refreshing. It's very similar to the summertime soda pop in that way where it smells a little bit fruity but very fizzy and fresh and just like a beautiful drink that you wanna drink. I mean, this truly is wonderful. And I am so happy to have this in my collection because I missed out on it the first time. So I am very happy to have it now. And then the last three wick that I picked up was London Tea and Lemon. And this has this really interesting like half striped half knot lid. And the notes on this one are perfect afternoon tea, sparkling sugar, and lemon zest. And the packaging looks like this. Really pretty. I mean, just gorgeous. They really, really did well on the labels this time around, I have to say. So this one I have had before and I loved it. I think that this is such a calming, fairly unique scent in the sense that I don't have anything else like this. This is really strong on that lemon, really strong on the tea. It just smells like a, a you know a cup of tea that you've brewed and you've doused it in lemon juice. I don't get a sweetness note to it, like if you it was, if it was sugared or anything like that. It truly is just tea and lemon, and I adore it. I think that this is going to be a really nice transition from summer to fall because it has that lemon that's still fresh. Like I can see this me burning, you know, I can see myself burning this in September when I'm not quite ready for fall, but I'm where it's cooling down here and I need something that's transitional. This to me would be perfect. I just, I love it. I think it smells like a wonderful glass of tea. So those are all my three wicks that I have. Now I did pick up some little testers and I'm so excited that the testers are out because during the winter semi-annual sale, they did not have any, which was really, really disappointing. So the first one that I got is Mahogany Balsam. Not my favorite scent, but um, I really like these for the bathroom, so I picked them up just to have them. This is Walk Through Holiday Woods with the aromatic fragrance of fresh green balsam, juniper berries, and rich mahogany. It's just mahogany teak wood mixed with their pine scent. Really not much else to it there other than, oops, other than, you know, mahogany teak wood and uh, balsam. Another Christmas scent that I picked up is Tis the Season. And the notes on this one are rich red apples, green pine, and a touch of golden cider combined to capture all the joy and activities of the holiday. It's a really pretty wa um, red wax. This is, um, you know, you definitely get the apple and you definitely get the spice from the cider, like the mold cider, cinnamony type of scents, the clove, all of that. This is nice. I, I don't really like cinnamon, but I 
enjoy this for around Christmas time. Next one that I picked up is Woodland, or, which is Woodland Bark and Water Mint. And this one, this one smells a little bit manly, but it's definitely woodsy for sure. I mean, obviously it's called Woodland. Why would it not, you know, smell woodsy? And it does, it definitely does. I, to me, it smells a little bit manly, like a little bit cologne-y, but I enjoy it. I mean, it's, it's, I didn't, I've never smelled this before. I didn't even know that it was around. I don't think it's ever been in a three wick and I certainly have not gotten it in a wallflower, but I will certainly try it out. The next one that I have is Sparkling Amber, and it's in this like burnt orange colored wax. That has some gouges taken out of it, but it's okay. And this is Velvety Peach and Lush, oh my goodness, Fragapani Petals add a touch of lightness to a warm and alluring amber. I have no idea what the fra Fragapani Petals are. I probably sound so stupid for not knowing what that is, but, or not even knowing how to pronounce it. But this is just like, it's just smells amber, honestly. It's all I really get. There's not much else to it, but it's not my favorite. But like I said, my, I'm really low on these testers because they didn't have them out during the winter SAS. So I was desperate for these. So I kind of grabbed whatever they had and just went from there. So not my favorite, but it's okay. And then the last one that I have, and which is my favorite, is White Sand Beaches, which is Blue Waters and Tiara Flowers. And this one smells so yummy. It smells like a beach with some flowers. It's not really floral. It just is like a sweetness from a flower, if that makes any sense. It's just beautiful. It's gorgeous for summer. It's refreshing. It's light. It's summery. It's beachy. It's everything you want in a candle for the summertime. And I adore it. And I wish that they had some three wicks in that scent. So that's it, you guys. That's everything that I picked up candle-wise from the SAS. I used coupons, of course, so all of these came out to under $10, all the three wicks. So it was really great, and I picked up some really awesome scents that I cannot wait to burn. I'm already loving the Island Margarita, as you can tell. But other than that, that's all I have for candles for the SAS. So let me know down below what you guys picked up, if you guys picked up anything at all, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.